let's look at the 11.1 quiz. The first thing we're given is given a polyhedron with 12 faces and 30 edges, how many vertices does it have? For this, we're going to want Euler's formula. And once I get this over into smooth draw, we'll see exactly how to use what is Euler's formula and how to use it. So Euler's formula simply um, is an equation that binds the number of faces, vertices, and edges together. If the number of vertices, faces, and edges satisfies this equation, it is a closed three-dimensional shape. If it, is, if it does not, it can still be in three dimensions. It just won't be a fully enclosed shape, kind of like how a polygon be a triangle must be fully enclosed right what I have on the left is a polygon what I have on the right is not a polygon it's the same concept here but in three dimensions so this one's pretty straightforward your faces are represented by F your edges are represented by E and your vertices are represented by V so we know we have 12 faces we're trying to identify the number of vertices and we have 30 edges so just to plug it in make some substitutions. This is going to be 32 over here, and I'm going to go ahead and subtract 12 from both sides, and that will leave me with the number of vertices is equal to 32 minus 12. So the number of vertices for this to be a fully enclosed three-dimensional shape to have 20 vertices. So this shape will in fact hold water. That's probably the easiest way to think about whether or not a shape is closed or not. Will it hold water if you rotate it in every direction? one we don't really need smooth draw for because this is easier done in the imagination. We have a plane intersects the prism shown parallel to the base which best describes the cross section. So that grayed out square is the plane that is intersecting the prism. We can see that it was told that this plane is parallel to the basis. So I have a base here and a base here and this plane is parallel to both of those bases. So what it's asking is if I were to take this top off and then flip it over and look at it, what shape would I see? Well, I'd see the same shape that I see for the bases. So I just need to identify what is the shape of this base. That it has one, two, three, four, five sides. So it is a pentagon. This one's a fill in the blank. We're going to fill in the blanks without looking at the four or three options on Pearson. And then we'll switch over to Pearson to verify that what we filled in are in fact the correct options. So Euler's formula states that the blank of the number of faces, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a few notes here so I can see if I can start constructing it. Um, and the number of, well, blank in a polyhedron, that's a three dimensional shape, is equivalent to two more than the number of it. So two more means two plus. So this one has to be edges, right? Because if I write out Euler's formula, I get faces plus vertices is equal to the number of edges plus two. Well, if I have two more than the number of it, so this one has to be edges. So states that the of the number. So I'm going to assume we're going to have some sort of operator here. Um, assume is probably even a weak word for that. It only seems right that we would have a choice of operators here. And we know if we look at Euler's formula, all we have are addition signs, so I'm going to say that the sum, that is the word for the answer of addition problems, of the number of faces and the number of, well, if I have the sum of faces, that's right here, right? Because I'm adding the faces to something, so this must be vertices. So our answer should be sum, vertices, and edges. So let's switch over to Pearson and see what we have for options. Some vertices, edges. Got that one. Got that one. And got that one. So let's look at some of this. So there's no difference in the Euler's formula unless we rearrange it. But we're going to stick with the form that Pearson taught us. There's no multiplication and there's no division. So sum is definitely the right answer there. Could be edges or vertices, but like we kind of broke it down, down here is definitely edges. Bases, Euler's formula says nothing about bases, so we can just automatically rule that one out. And again, not, nothing there. And we've already selected vertices there, 
So we should feel pretty confident in our choices. All right. Could a polyhedron exist with the given number of faces, vertices, and edges? Drag yes or no to each combination. Again, Euler's formula, very clear. Um, that's really our only option that we have so far to make any determination on these polyhedron. So let's do that. Don't need to save that one. Close it up. So again, let's go ahead and copy down Euler's formula. That's always a good starting point. So number of faces plus the number of vertices is equal to the number of edges plus two. So for this one, I have eight, and look at this, they gave it to us in order. So we're just gonna take the numbers, add them together, and set them equal to, oh, don't even need a variable this time. So eight faces, 12 vertices. When I add those together, I get 20. And then six edges plus two is eight. 20 does not equal eight, so this one it's a definite no. So on this one, we have six faces, six vertices, and four edges. Well, 12 does not equal six, so this one's a no. Now we have 20 plus 30 is equal to 12 plus two. This one's a definite no. So these are all no, probably not the most confidence inspiring. So let's actually make sure and verify for this one. Yep. So it is actually no, 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 right across the board.